I really dig this. Hello, Santiago. We didn't really know what to expect from this city. But Chile's Atacama Desert has been on my bucket list for a while now, and we had to go through Santiago to get there. A city of 8 million people, plenty to keep us occupied. How bad could it be? You know, when we're in big cities, it basically means try the food, try the wine, meet the people. Like proper cities. Holy mackerel. I get on that bus. Now that, my friends, is a birthday cake. If I was a kid, I was five years old, this is the one that I would like. What do you think, love? I mean, I'm trying to figure out Uber because I'm not figuring out this metro. Cry, cry. about Uber because Uber is a lifesaver awesome. and anyone who doesn't understand has a screw loose. Yes, entrepreneurs. Why would anyone complain about that? Same reason people complain about Airbnb. Oh, for heaven! Creating value for the public. Creating such value, we, we get to meet so many people through that. We get to go to experience neighborhoods. We get to live life like a local like that. I love it. I mean, you brought up a question about, you know, no one speaks English, it freaks you out. I think it's great, I mean, that's the only way you can learn is immersion. It's like sink or swim, right? You have to do something, you will do it. You can't learn to speak Spanish if you're always having people kiss your ass and speak English. So you just have to like put yourself in a situation where people are gonna make you speak Spanish. I, I wanna learn the language, I really do. And the only way is to do it, every day. Dude, this pizza here looks legit. People are really going for it. So normally I cry about public transport. And quite frankly, we're not even doing this to save money. It's just, just for the experience. We, want. we just want to convince ourselves that we can do it, you know? Yeah. Yes. Holy. This is crazy. You have to have cash. Do you have any cash? I have cash. Alright, now I have no idea where we're going. Okay, so we're... Good, good. We don't know where that, we don't know. Okay, so we're at Santa Lucia. Huh. So, Santa Lucia is on the red line. Yeah. Yeah, so we just stay on that line. All right, let's see if we can figure out the ticket. All right. We failed on the BIP card, because... Oh, uh, Angie didn't want a BIP card. I think a BIP card is actually a ticket, so... I don't know what a BIP card is. Hopefully they can help. Hola, uh, is there dos boletos? Uh, but uh, um, I'll go. It's so much easier. Success. well-known restaurant and James gets offended about my outfit. He's like, can't you wear something else? I'm like, well, you're the one who wanted me to pack carry-on only, so how am I 
supposed to like pack an outfit for every affair. We're just going to like some Michelin star deal tonight. But I only have sandals and it's winter here. It's like literally like 40 degrees right now. I'm not wearing you sandals. You think they'll let her in, people? All right, whatever. Bio, aka horse, is legit. Not my first horse. I had horse in Venice as well. What was your favorite part about the dinner tonight? The país. That was your favorite part about the whole dinner? Yes. It was really good. It is good. It continues to be good. I liked also the caballo. I liked also the bread basket and I liked my pork. I personally think everything was great about this meal. It was great. How about the cow's bland? That might have been one of my favorite things about it. Even though I just forgot to mention it. <laughs> That's what happens when you're overloaded with a lot of beautiful things. You forget certain things. into the alcohol content, right? This is where we put the wine inside the barrel. It uh, smells like whiskey. Last time we were When we were on the wine tour, we met a super cool couple from Ireland, John and Yvonne, who also happened to be traveling around the world. As the day progressed, the wine and conversation flowed, we broke some bread and shared some stories. It was both our ideas. John was a bit more, though. Inside the Wonderlust, John? What's Wonderlust? Oh, yeah. Wanderlust, 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 yeah. Dream to travel. Yeah, I went there, right? But it took us uh, years to actually afford it, so we had to wait around for years. But once we uh, once we held it off for three years, we finally made it. And happy outcome. Good. I think it's South America because it's such, it's like a place that nobody at home has been and it's really like I'm in South America. It's in South America, like a new, like a whole new thing. Yeah, you think that things are very, very different from where you're from? Because it's so easy to travel to Southeast Asia today because cheap flights, it's cheap over there. So everyone has been to Thailand. We, we've heard so much about it, seen so many pictures, but not many people have been to South America. So we were like, fuck it, let's go to South America. It's not cheap to get here because it's like the end of flights in general, yeah, right? Like well, especially now from Europe, I know it's very hard to because it's like the furthest away. So you get flights to Lima or yeah. maybe somewhere a lot cheaper than you would to Santiago. So maybe lots of people get to Argentina, to Brazil, and then Mexico, maybe I suppose. And then Chile is like this corner in South America. I don't know where it gets. Yeah. So is that is my my idea? Or is They've never been like, nah, it was too far away. Because when you look at it on a map. When you're going to Argentina, it's not too far away. Yeah. Like. But for a long time, I know this because my father is Argentinian and my mother is Chilean. For a long time, when <laughs> the two families met, Chile was like this very small country with very small economy. And Argentina was like everybody knew Argentina. They were good at football, you know. They had meats, they had the barbecue thing, whatever leather and things like that. Yeah. My grandmother, my Argentinian grandmother, she used to, you know. They thought they were coming from this really rustic country. And it was just beside, right? Beside them, yeah. <laughs> so the first time they all met, uh, she asked my mother uh, if we played football in Chile. Which is basically, you know, do you wear shoes in Chile? <laughs> right? <laughs> so all the Chilean family was really mad, you know? Wait, wait, what's, what's this question, you know? like, And now it's, it's weird because Chile is it's growing a lot and it's getting to be known. And at one time it was like this, this little country beside Argentina, right? Yeah. <laughs> So that's why I always have this feeling that Chile is smaller than Argentina. I don't know why. Like in terms of. So you can tell fame. your grandma, like, do you remember when you asked us yeah. if we play soccer? 
Do you remember what happened last actually, year? Yeah. Do you remember who won? <laughs> Look at you. Yeah, actually, she, she, she passed away. But uh, this year okay. when, when we won. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Next time on the American Daydream, we ditch the big city and head to an amazing luxury lodge in the Atacama Desert where we connect with nature, solitude, and jacuzzis. <laughs> <laughs>